More than 804,000 federal student loan borrowers are in for a pleasant surprise while the Supreme Court scuttled President Biden's effort at widespread debt forgiveness. These borrowers are about to get an email from the U.S. Department of Education notifying them that their debts will be soon automatically erased. The forgiveness is the result of a promise made last year by the Biden administration in response to years of complaints, lawsuits, and NPR investigations that found that many longtime borrowers who should have qualified for loan forgiveness under the rules of Government Income Driven Repayment Plans, IDR, hadn't received it because of mismanagement by the government and loan servicers. For far too long, borrowers fell through the cracks of a broken system that failed to keep accurate track of their progress towards forgiveness, said the Secretary of Education, Miguel Cardona, in Friday's press release announcing the forgiveness. The move will erase $39 billion in federal student loan debt. Borrowers, advocates, and journalists have warned for years of these IDR failures. While IDR rules have long promised a borrower's loan balance will be forgiven after 20 years of payment, a March 2021 report by borrower advocates found that at the time, 4.4 million borrowers had been repaying their loans for at least 20 years, but only 32, <laughs> yes, only 32 no had way. had no. debts canceled under IDR. Why? Well, one huge problem is the IDR plans meant as a safety net for low-income borrowers were difficult to enroll in. So, loan servicing companies often put financially distressed borrowers into long-term forbearance instead, a process that the companies call center workers could more easily navigate over the phone. Forbearance may offer a short-term reprieve from payments, but interest continues to accrue. In April of 2022, an NPR investigation built on unreleased education department documents revealed yet more problems with the department's handling of these IDR plans, including the several loan servicing companies who weren't actually tracking the borrower's progress toward forgiveness, which the department knew, and that payment histories were often damaged and incomplete after borrowers were transferred from one servicer to another, which is a common practice. In response, the Biden administration pledged last spring to conduct a one-time accounting adjustment for federal student loan borrowers, giving them retroactive credit towards loan forgiveness for months spent in long-term forbearance. Even borrowers who were never in an IDR plan are now receiving or soon will receive retroactive credit toward forgiveness. Regardless of whether payments were partial or late, the type of plan or the repayment plan according to the department's release. This sweeping review of borrower accounts is far from over and will continue into 2024. Friday's $39 billion add considerably health to the Biden administration's previous debt relief efforts, now totaling at least $116 billion and illustrates how the Education Department can offer targeted relief to vulnerable borrowers even after the Supreme Court recent rebuke. I mean, this is very exciting news. Unfortunately, for the first forgiveness, I wasn't eligible for it. And if this is for borrowers who are in that 20-year um, IDR payment plan, well, I won't be eligible for this one either. But hopefully, some of you guys will. Let's talk about it in the comments. Will you be eligible for this forgiveness? What do you think about this forgiveness? Do you think this is something good that President Biden has really been working hard to fulfill? Let's talk about it in the comments. And if you haven't, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe.